Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Wednesday. It is uh, Team of the Week Day on FIFA, but it's not a surprise for us today because we already know the Team of the Week that is coming today. Yes, we're going to start the video off today by looking at the Team of the Week that was leaked tonight on FIFA Ultimate Team because cards started showing up in-game. People started packing the new Team of the Week cards before the new Team of the Week was even announced with some crazy, crazy low price ranges. Really weird stuff, so I'm gonna talk about that for a second. Uh, but also today, we're gonna to talk about um, shapeshifters, investing, and some other investments that I think you guys can make on the market this week because EA Sports is not dropping a lot of content. So what happens when we don't see content? People go out, they try cards, they use cards, and that makes for some possibilities for investments. We also had some uh, Champions League movements today, so I'll talk about that in this video as well. But this is Team of the Week 24. Like, this is the actual Team of the Week. All the cards that are in this Team of the Week were found last night in the game. Tuesday night, late, if you saw on Twitter, if you guys followed that, there were some cards that were starting to get packed. Bruno Fernandez, 88 rated. Aubameyang, 89 rated. Lewandowski, 93 rated. So what does this mean? Aubameyang and Lewandowski headliners are getting upgraded. Messi is not in Team of the Week. Tellez is not in Team of the Week, so that is unfortunate. Um, and also, this Team of the Week looks pretty, pretty bad. This is a not very positive Team of the Week. And again, it just continues this long streak that we've had of poor content from EA. For whatever reason, uh, we just have not had good content during this promo. Even like last week during Winter Re Refresh was pretty bad. The Team of the Week um, before that was all right. Team of the Week 22 was all right, but... Team of the Week 23, it's okay. Team of the Week 24, this one's even worse than last week. You really only have five players in here, five or six players that are probably going to make it into anybody's squads, to be honest, maybe seven players. Um, and, and Cuckoo, Lewandowski, Cordoba, Aubameyang, Fernandez, Koke, and Van Anholt are probably some of the only cards that will make it into squads. Just unfortunate at this stage of the game to see Team of the Week look like this. Some people thought that Messi might be in because he right now has a shapeshifters card. That's why he wouldn't be showing up in the leaked team of the week. So if for some reason Messi is in, he would not be in packs until Friday when this card goes out of packs. So that's just a kind of maybe a disclaimer, I guess you could say, just something to look forward to or look for just in case he does get into team of the week. But I want to talk about investing in these cards and investing in a couple other cards on this game as well based on stuff that we saw today. So we're going to talk about shape, shape shifters first because a lot of you guys want to know when is the best time to buy these cards because there's a lot of these cards that are very intriguing and I think a lot of people are going to want to use these cards for their teams. Uh, and, you know, kind of first, what we do when we look at which cards are going to be really investable is we look at which ones are hyped up, right? Because, of course, when you have hyped up cards, uh, that is the cards that rise the most as we head out of packs. So right now, as we are enduring some laggy menus, I wanna take a look at this Ben Yedder. Actually, I'm probably sorting this the wrong way. Let me sort by right wing. I wanna look at this Ben Yedder, this Ben Yedder uh, shapeshifters card because I wanna point some things out because we've seen multiple two week promos throughout the course of this year. And I wanna make the point about what happens oftentimes when we have a two week promo and what happens to the first set. A lot of times the first set is better than the second set and we see that first set rise out of packs and that is why I'm partially interested in this first set of shapeshifters because I feel like there's a lot of cards in this team that a lot of people want to use with the position changes and that nobody really in the second team is going to disturb their price I guess you could say or it shouldn't hurt their price too much just because they kind of fill a hole or fill a need in squad building or it's just a really cool card so I think this Ben Yedder right wing card is going to be a, a really solid one to flip this week. And again, we, we do this when we look at team of the week investing a lot, right? We look at how many games are played on that card using footprint stats. Um, and right now we are, these cards have been in packs for four days. We already have 9,000 games played on a tall. Uh, Dava Louise, how many games played do we have here? We've got 4,000 games played. What about uh, Kondogbia? A lot of people trying him out. 4,000. Interesting. You can also kind of compare the cost of this card into how many people can use him, right? There's a lot more people in this game that can use Condoglia than can use David Luiz. So when you're investing in some of these cards that are going to be going out of packs, wow, Mares with 12,000 games played. I knew he was going to be one of my favorites for a riser or an investment out of packs. 
this uh, just confirms it for me. A lot of games played, that just means people are trying him out. People want to use him in FIFA Ultimate Team. What about Lucas? 11,000 games played. That's a lot. What about Mbabu? 4,000 games played. So again, Premier League is king, as it is most of the time. Ronaldo Sanchez, 5,000 games. That's a decent amount. And you can do this at any time. Um, you can look at these. I do this with Team of the Week investing at all the time. If you look at this week's Team of the Week, uh, Dybala has a decent amount of games played. And that's an important thing. I'm interested in this guy too. Uh, Serie A right backs, there's not a ton of them. So uh, I feel like this guy could be a pretty solid riser out of packs. So that's one way how you can help yourself decide which cards are going to be the best risers out of packs. Um, but I think Mars is my favorite this week. Kondogbia, Hatebauer, Lucas, Mbabu, and Mertens are my other favorites. And Atal, um, just based on the amount of hype that they have in this game. The next obvious question that we need to answer for that is, okay, if we're going to invest in some of these guys, why do we want to invest in them? What's the return that we can see on these cards? And when do we want to buy them? These cards dropped up today as we go back and take a look at some graphs. Why did they drop a bunch today? Well, we got some tradable supply. And this happened a bunch earlier on in the game when they were dropping pack supply SBCs every day. We got some pack supply SBCs today via the UCL marquee matchups which is right uh, here. UEFA marquee matchups gave out three tradable packs. So we had a small prime gold players, prime mixed, and then a rare Electrum for completing uh, both of those two as your reward for the whole set. So that's some decent tradable pack supply. And you saw some of these cards take a hit today on the market because of that. Basically everything that was in packs took a hit today. Take a look at this Mares, 335,000 coins, 334 right before the content drop at 6 p.m. UK, all the way down to 293K where he's still chilling right now at the moment. So a lot of these cards dip down. That's a solid 10% right there, dropping of 10% on the day. That's a big drop for a card like this in game. Marcelo's down at 1.26, Messi's at 285, um, Ben Yedder's at 1.4. Condoglia was like 130 all day. He's now down to 104. Mertens, this card's been like 230, 220. He's now down at, uh, two, he was at 200 flat, I believe. So th this card rebounding up actually shows me that he's got some demand. He wasn't actually 200 flat. He was like 209 at one point. But the 9,000 games played is interesting to me. So if we see pack supply SBCs again today, on Wednesday before these guys go out of packs, that could make their prices drop even more. Um, but I think the ultimate buy time for a lot of these guys is gonna be, you're gonna wanna watch the panic selling that goes into Thursday rewards. 290 for Mars right here in the undercut. If you see these cards drop a bunch right before rewards, like we're talking big time drop-offs, some of the absolute lowest prices for the winter refresh players last week was actually before rewards for some of the really meta and really OP ones. And I would consider Mares and Lucas to be in that category this week. I still think that I would wait for the rewards to come out and for the actual cards to be packed because I feel like they, they just have some more room to drop. Uh, but this Lucas card fluctuates all the time because a lot of people are using it. I want him for my team at least for the club, because this is, I'm a Spurs fan, right? This is a really cool card. And obviously a lot of other people think of that on the game as well. Um, but if you see these guys drop a ton before rewards, you might want to take some action, or at least if you're looking at investing in these guys, maybe take, you know, buy a couple and see what happens during rewards. If the price doesn't move much during that time frame, then you can see them rise up afterwards. But of course, what we see happen during rewards most of the time is the upper tier cards get packed less and they rebound faster and they rebound more so if it's an upper tier card you probably want to buy into the like this he only has one page of supply this right wing ben yetter you would probably want to buy him before rewards if he drops a bunch or wait till right around the start of rewards because this is a card that people will be buying quickly after rewards come out and he won't be able to drop as much because he won't be packed as much and there'll be more people trying to go buy this card than packing him, whereas somebody like Keynes, right, the Bundesliga center attacking mid, this guy is probably just going to drop with rewards and stay low and then rebound afterwards because there's not as many people that are going to be wanting to go and buy this card. Just be, And also he's going to get packed a bunch. So his, uh, his price is definitely going to drop, and that's going to be the case for most of these guys. How many games played does this card have? This card has 5,000 games played, so people are trying them out. Interesting. 
it's good to know. Um, but yeah, watch some of the prices on the lower tier cards to drop with the rewards pack supply. Then for the upper tier ones, Marcelo, Messi, David Luiz, uh, Ben Yedder. I would include all those guys in there. I don't think they would drop as much at rewards and they you might want to buy those in the panic selling before rewards. So I think these guys are going to rise up nicely out of packs. Uh, I think you're going to see Mares on Friday night after the second set comes in. As long as there's no other cards that compete with their position in their league, like if as long as they don't release a center attacking mid in the prem or another center mid in the prem that could hurt uh, Mares's price because there's another card, a, a substitute good basically, uh, then I think you'll see this card. You know, he's 290. Maybe he gets to 275 at one point. 275k might be a good buy price for this. He might shoot up to back over 320, 330,000 coins based on the hype that he has. If Manchester City wins today in Champions League, you also might see some more hype for this card just because people might be feeling good about Manchester City. We saw this last week with Dortmund. A lot of Dortmund cards just went up. Even like Royce went up and Delaney's uh, headliner went up for a bit because people were just buying Dortmund cards because they just watched Dortmund play on TV. They played a great game. They won and they were pumped, right? So that happens sometimes with Champions League games. You get the hype around the team. So that could be something to, to keep in mind and watch out for as well. All right, let's talk about some other investments. We talked about shapeshifters and how I feel about those. I want to look at one specific card right now. One specific card, and that is Erling Holland. I want to look at this Champions League Man of the Match item because I can't decide and figure out whether EA actually got their stuff together and pulled these cards out of packs at the correct time when they normally say that they are going to. If you guys haven't noticed, in the past couple weeks, these Man of the Match cards, like, um, who do we do this with the first time? Deli Ali. The first time we had Man of the Match cards, they said they were going out of packs Tuesday night at midnight UK. So Tuesday into Wednesday, midnight UK. Those cards actually didn't go out of packs until Wednesday UK time. You can see here with 63K after the weekend, he was 63 and then he went up afterwards. He never went out of packs until Wednesday into Thursday at uh, midnight UK. But I think they have that fixed right now with Holland because Holland today hit a low point of 230K due to that pack supply that I was talking about of UCL marquee matchups. And if we go onto the game right now and check the supply of Holland right now, there are not that many of them under 250K. Okay, there's a first owner tradable that just popped up. So maybe they are still in packs and it's just because it's nighttime. But I was not seeing very many first owner tradable Hollands pop up on the market in the last like 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm kind of questioning whether this card is in pack still or not, because usually EA again has messed up and have not pulled them out as early as they say they were going to. But um, I'm not entirely sure what this looks like right now. Regardless, if we get a pack supply SBC today, or if you see this Holland card under 240,000 coins, I am a fan of buying this card. He's got the hype right now. I know it doesn't have a dynamic image, but this inform was 300k before this card came out. This card has better stats, doesn't have a dynamic inform, and it's from a Champions League game with, uh, of course, the 90 shooting, which is a solid upgrade, 81 passing as well. Um, I think this card should be anywhere from like 260 to 270 in the coming days, uh, and this inform is probably going to recover a little bit up as well. But I do think this card will rise out of packs. I'm a huge fan of that investment right there if you want to get involved with that. And then row to the final cards. Uh, of course, let me mention uh, Jota, right? There's a couple other of these uh, man of the matches from Europa League that are basically discard value. If there's a discard special card that's going out of packs and it's only in packs for a couple days, this Jota is, what is he, 11K right now? This is not a bad buy just to chuck one in the club. Uh, it's a solid card and, you know, it's going to be out of packs. So he could be 14, 15,000 coins in a week. And then if you bought a few of them or you club stocked one, then boom, you're able to sell that at a little bit of profit right there. So that's more of a discard investment if you want to get in on one of those. But again, road to the finals today. I want to talk about these prices right now because I'm very, very intrigued with these live items. Oh my gosh, Allen is still 200,000 coins flat. Now, none of the Barcelona or the Napoli cards are getting upgraded because they didn't win today, right? The cards... Only get an upgrade if they won the first leg, and then they'll get upgraded again if they move on to the next round. But today, since nobody won in the Napoli and Barca game, they drew 1-1, none of these cards are getting upgraded. So 
these cards all from both Napoli and uh, Barcelona, all of these cards that are Champions League live items for those two teams dropped today. So Alba dropped, Dembele dropped, and Allen dropped. Um, this card right here, I do see rebounding. A lot of the panic selling, we saw this with Sancho last week. I've pointed that out many times, and Yoris. The teams that won and lost, both of the road of the final cards rebounded in the next coming days just because they're very usable cards in this game. If Allen, at the time of you're watching this video, and we're talking PlayStation 4 prices right now, but we'll look on, on Xbox as well. If we're looking at a, a price for Allen on either console, 200,000 coins is, this is a fantastic price for this card. Uh, he has dropped down a bunch today. Check this out. He was 230K before the game. Went to actually he went to 300k for a minute after Merton scored, and now he's back down. He was 184 on the Xbox, now 191. He was 200,000 coins on the PlayStation where he still is. I am a fan of this card. I think he should be 230,000 coins again come weekend league rewards and come this weekend um, because it's a live it's a live card. It's a very very usable card. Again, I pointed this out yesterday. 3.4 million games played with this card. In foot, so I'm a huge fan of this investment. Um, buying him because of the panic selling that's going on right now, he should rebound. Um, even without having to get an upgrade, he should rebound this week. Another guy that is guaranteed an upgrade, Kingsley Coman, has dropped down to cheaper than what his card price was before the game today. Now tell me how much sense this makes, right? And this is just one of those plays in the market where, when you see something like this, it's a live item. These cards are the, some of the rarest special cards in the game and it's lower than what it was before the game and they won and he's going to go to an 88 rated card on friday night that's when these cards are going to get upgraded so the Goretzka and the Coman and all the europa league live cards that play today are getting upgraded friday night why is he lower than he was pre-game it's just people selling the card to get the coins that they invested in right and when people try to sell the card after the game they want their coins so they just keep undercutting and they just sell it for whatever this guy was 420,000 coins pregame. He actually went to 475. I sold two of them there. Trady with him in live in game when Byron scored. Now he's back down under 400k for a moment here. I actually bought one. It's on my transfer list. I bought it for 385,000 coins earlier tonight. And as you can see, full disclosure, I do have a couple Allens. Got some gold cards that I'm doing upgrades with. I've got a couple Allens and I got a couple Comans. I got or one Coman. I got it at 385. Right now, he's back over 400,000 coins. I think this is a buy 410 on the PS, and I'm thinking like 370 and under. Actually, like, dang, he didn't drop as low as he did on PlayStation than on Xbox, but if you see this card on, on Xbox, maybe at like 360, under 360 or 350, I'd be more of a fan of it there. Three, 350, 360 or under on the Xbox, and then under 410K on the PlayStation. I'm a fan of that card as an investment because he is getting the upgrade. He is getting the upgrade this week on Friday night. So his card price should rise back up. Goretzka as well is like 800,000 coins at the moment. He was 800K before the game. He was like 790. This guy at 800,000 coins, I think is a buy as well. He's going to be getting a nice stat juice. He's going to be Hullet Gang. And there's, of course, a Lewandowski in Team of the Week. There's probably going to be a Man of the Match nabry coming on friday night as well for his performance in the game so these these um these bundesliga bayern links are going to be pretty heavily used this week with the new cards that are in foot so that's just something to think about something to monitor that's another reason why i like the coman is because lewandowski is in team of the week another reason why i like this is because lewandowski is in team of the week coman's getting the upgrade people might be trying to link these bayern cards together as they do have the hype right now in foot so there's a lot of investments I think you guys can make, and I've made some of them along with you. I'll probably look to be buying into some of these shapeshifter cards during rewards on Thursday. My best bet will be Mares, Hate Bauer, um, Dava Louise, Mertens, and Lucas. I think those are my targets that I will be looking at this week for investing in those cards out of packs. And of course, we'll see what happens with the new set of shapeshifter cards coming this weekend. Of course, if we get some content today on Wednesday, pack supply con uh, content, excuse me, maybe another like uh, UCL SBC, like we had the call the shots SBC today that a lot of people thought um, was kind of an EA way of them saying, hey, we're calling the shots here in this game, so don't mess with us, kind of like, um, you know, like a subtle message in game, 
about the whole Kurt situation, um, then I think we might see another SBC like this today. Hopefully it's tradable though. If it's untradable, it doesn't affect the market. If it's tradable, then we have supply coming on. That'll be something to watch today as well. So happy team of the weekday, even though it's not a surprise. We know it's coming to the game, which is kind of anticlimactic, but it is what it is. Make these investments if you're feeling it. I think that since we're not getting as much content or any content at all in these promos, that uh, these are some pretty safe investments because none of this content in here is affecting um, what we're having else happening out on the market because there's just not much happening elsewhere in this game uh, at the moment, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is and we can make some coins off of that. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.